what is going on everyone today we're going to be doing a full day of eating plus my current favorite day of training and we're starting off with just a real basic similar to what i did last week although one thing i gotta tell you guys about that i found out in this past week that has been a fucking game changer i absolutely love it and it is going to be actually whenever you have egg whites instead of like cooking them on a pan spray like a meal prep container and cook it in the microwave and i can tell you guys it makes so much better egg whites because it doesn't stick to the pan because there's like not a lot of fat in the egg whites but you guys have to give that a try and let me know how it goes so i had to work this morning it wasn't too bad but you know still sucks having to work on a weekend but gotta get my hours in so after this though going to go ahead and show y'all gotta do a cat intermission for mr zodi also just want to let you guys know if you guys really do like this kind of content please do like the video and subscribe it really does help me a ton and then kind of next going into this we we'll just go ahead and start making my lunch and these are actually some japanese souffle pancakes but they're like you know protein obviously because i need to, i can't just eat you know on a 2500 calorie cut i can't be eating fucking regular japanese pancakes so these are like a anabolic version that i got from exercise from cheat meals i'll uh put his channel in the description and you guys really should check it out because it's he does some really great shit over there and his recipes all turn out really good at least that i've tested so far so i won't be doing exact measurements on this video because i don't want to steal a bunch of credit from him but i'll link his video to this in the description you guys can check it out if you want to remake it i'll still be kind of going over how i made it and uh the method and all that kind of stuff but for if you guys want all the individual ingredients and you gotta go over to his channel. But basically, what you're doing here is just making a really basic meringue, except instead of using regular sugar, you're using uh, urethritol, which is my favorite, personal favorite sweetener, or whatever artificial sweetener you wanna use. And then after that, we just gotta sift all of our dry ingredients, which is just basically flour and protein powder. Add the eggs and vanilla to that, and then you're gonna mix it up with some milk. And this honestly is like really similar to making regular Japanese souffle pancakes, but they turn out so amazing when it comes to an anabolic version. They're like the fl because when you have a lot of protein pancakes, unless you use like Kodiak cake mix and you kind of do a combo like that, most just protein pancake recipes you find on the internet kind of are dog shit. Like they look good. And that's something that I feel like a lot of anabolic recipe people do, especially on like Instagram and shit like that, is they're really good at making stuff look great but you taste it and it's like, where is the fucking flavor? So I'm not a fan of a lot of those recipes. Some of them are okay, don't get me wrong, but especially the sweet stuff, I feel like uh, leaves a lot to be desired, but these are actually amazing. So highly recommend giving them a try, but this is one of the most important steps. Make sure if there's one thing, whenever you're remaking these, make sure you're at least relatively careful when you're folding in your egg whites. This is kind of the make or break point with a lot of these. And then with this part, you don't really need, I have a pastry bag because I was in culinary school for a while and same thing with, you know, culinary school had pastry school. So we had to like get some of these fucking pastry bags. So I just have a lot of them kind of sitting around because I never use them, but you can just use like a Ziploc bag, chop off the top of it and then it'll work fine that way too. Make sure whenever you're cooking these, make sure you put a lid on top of them because you gotta steam them or else they're just not gonna cook all the way. Also, I'm sure as you guys can see this, I got another pan because the batch that I made was a double batch, which for me kind of fit my calories a little bit better where it was 700 calories, but you know, 80 grams of protein instead of the regular amount. So that's why there's that second pan there because they do take a while to cook. All right, y'all, gonna go ahead and eat this. Again, these are these fluffy Japanese pancakes, the protein pancakes from Exercise for Cheat Meals. Highly, highly, highly would recommend if you haven't made them. I'll make sure and post the macros and everything in the description also to his channel and his video where I got it from. Amazing. Again, they take a little bit longer, so like I wouldn't do these any day during the week, but whenever you have free time on a weekend or it's like you're just feeling like you want something extra special, highly would recommend these days are so fucking good. So I'm gonna get into these and then I gotta go back to studying for, I have a bunch of finals coming up. Luckily, it's almost done, especially this, this especially has been fucking brutal for me. I mean, it's been a lot when it comes to the classes, like definitely, I don't know if difficulty is the right word, but the amount of effort I had to put into all these classes definitely have jumped up a lot. 
I've got stats coming up. I've got, I'm in a Java class and Java's been beating my ass. And it's, it's not like super hard, but it's a lot of fucking work. And a lot of times these problems, I'll sit there for three fucking hours staring at this shit. And I just, brain will completely melt. So it's one of those things where it's been more of a pain in the ass because it requires way more thinking compared to like just shoving my face into a textbook or into Quizlet and then just studying as many terms as I possibly can for other types of classes. But uh, it's still, it's been, it's been more enjoyable, I guess, than taking like bullshit classes that I had to take before this since it's now like actually for my major and stuff like that. But yeah, so I'm gonna get back to that pretty much as soon as I finish these, then I'm gonna go do today's full body workout, which I'm fucking excited for. Saturday is always my favorite day to work out because I've got the most amount of time and it's my deadlift day. So I'm gonna show you guys that. And yeah, so I'll talk to you guys in a little bit. I'll show you guys my workout. Before I go to the workout, I'll show you guys my full type of serving I do for pre-workout. And then yeah, I'll meet you guys at the gym. We'll talk to you in a little bit. Peace. Alrighty. We are at the gym. Sorry, you guys couldn't see my pre-workout thing. Didn't really matter that much. Just regular two scoops of my pre-workout and some glycerol. But now I'm getting into my stretching routine because I always have to have a lot of stretching before I do my deadlifts. Because if not, I will fuck my hips up. So I do a lot of hip stretching, a little bit of hamstring stretching, not too much. But mostly getting my hips loose because I always have really tight hips. And if I don't do this, and yeah, like I said, I'll fuck my shit up. So after this, I do a little bit of just arm bands over the top, and then I do around the worlds. Helps loosen up my shoulders, which another thing which is big for even deadlifting because there is that initial pulling motion, so it's really good for your arms and your lats. This is where the fun begins. Alrighty, so like I said, we're gonna be starting out with the deadlift. And for me, I was doing three sets of eight to 10. I think this set I get eight, if I remember correctly, I maybe go for 10, but I am fried after doing these deadlifts. It is something that's really important for me whenever I'm doing stuff like these big compound movements is it's really gotta focus on maximizing your recovery afterwards because this shit will fry you. Especially I think deadlifts even more than like bench or squat because I think deadlifts is something where You really can go to like absolute failure without that many consequences I think as compared to other lifts like if you squat and you can't get up you're fucking dead I mean, yeah, you can crash into the bar, but that is quite the scene if you drop a deadlift It's not the end of the world when it comes to like embarrassment levels where you have to move to a different gym or even just like personally where you're not gonna literally injure yourself but I've been doing really good with deadlifts. I used to always fuck my back up, but now ever since stretching properly and also learning how to properly do deadlifts, it's actually helped me a lot. After that, we go on to the barbell incline. I'm a big fan of these. Obviously, I love compound movements. Another one where we're doing for three sets of 10 on this one. And I wasn't, my weight right now is not too great, but that's because like I said, I'm in a deficit and there are certain movements my deadlift hasn't gone down too much but a lot of my other lifts have dipped a little bit so only was doing 225 there after this we've got the lat pull downs i try not to go too heavy on these actually i try to focus on form a little bit more i'm swinging a little bit more than i wish i would it's kind of like one of those things until you watch it back you don't realize what you're doing so really trying to focus on getting optimal squeeze where i can then after this build these big fucking traps do some shrugs again not crazy weight but that's because i'm doing a little bit higher reps whenever i go into my strength phase then you'll guys see me push the weight a lot more but after that we're going to of course one of my favorites is the lateral raises gotta get those big juicy fucking boulder shoulders try to look like derek for more plates more dates gotta get those death star delts so after we do these i move on to my Rear delt flies, something I think is super underrated and not enough people do it because if you really want to get the rounded shoulder, you have to work on your delts. And I think it's just super underrated. Also, what's cool about the delts is you don't actually have to do that many exercises, I think, to build the delts because it's such a small part of the shoulder. You really don't have to do more than two or three sets, you know, every workout to actually build your delts optimally. And then after that, we've got something, again, I think this is super underrated exercise. I don't see anybody do this, actually, when it comes to doing close grip bench press. I think it works the triceps really great. 
Um, I, it got cut there, uh, I think because I ran out of storage space on my phone or some shit like that, but I did again four sets of ten, or three sets of ten. And then after this, we've got the calf raises. I can't can't forget about calf raises. You know, they're not there's not really that much you can do for your calves, but as long as you train them enough, I've actually seen some decent progress in my calves, which has been nice. But after this, we go do a little bit more cardio. I need mainly I focus on getting steps, like I always say. It's to me I, that's a lot more important. I've been trying to recently up my actual cardio levels a little bit more because I want to start accelerating this a little bit and then going on a trip soon. But after this, went ahead and made me some, this is like a taco chicken mac and cheese that I, oh, I love this stuff, it's so good. This is from somebody on Instagram posted, but it's really good. With that, gonna have me some green beans. This is actually gonna be a massive meal because I got back from like the grocery at like fucking 8.30 and I normally have my last meal at seven. So it's about to be a massive meal that I ate. And yeah, I'm just kind of making a little wrap here and then I'm making like a garlic sauce, which is literally just Greek yogurt, garlic salt, and then add some water, thin it out, mix it up, shit turns out great. Put that on a lot of stuff and it's amazing. So just throwing this together and then we'll finish off my calories for the day. I think this day I ate about 2,600, 2,560 I think is what I'm supposed to hit. So about 2,600. Had me also some rice cakes. Just slather those bitches in honey and they are amazing. 10 out of 10 would recommend. I'm gonna eat my little chicken wrap that I made here with my dessert slash side for carbs. Like I said, my fucking rice cakes slathered in honey. Absolutely amazing. I'm gonna do this. Then I just gotta get back to work. We'll really start work because I was fucking busy slash lazy today. So about to be up fucking all night. It's great. It'll probably slam me some coffee here in a minute or some of that fucking meal energy that I got because I am gonna have to go hard these next couple days because I've got fucking tomorrow's gonna be real busy but you know we'll fucking get through it. We'll get through it but hope you guys have a great rest of your week. Hope it starts off strong or ends strong whenever the fuck you watch this video. So I'll talk to you guys in the next one. If you guys like all this content and stuff like that, please don't forget to like, comment, subscribe. It really does help me a ton. And I'll talk to you guys in the next one. Peace.